What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just waiting on the garage real quick. Huh? It's still working here. Yeah, dude. It felt so, so long ago, dude. <laughs> this is like just opening up the garage and getting to work here. We are absolutely blessed. Shout out to you guys. You guys have gifted us with the opportunity to do so. We still got our boxes over there, which we're not, not gonna be taking just yet. We're actually doing a couple things today. Dropping off the 435. Uh, we're taking the 128 to the shop. We're gonna be doing some things to the 128. So first off, the reason we're taking the 435 to the shop, uh, it has a quarter panel ding. Um, you guys saw that. So we're gonna try to hopefully get that fixed and ready for wrap, because you guys know I'm gonna be wrapping the whole car. And I'm gonna be getting some help on it, because you know, your boy is not really the most, you know, the best wrapper. So we're gonna try to make this car perfect. And then this car is gonna Got some pretty sick mods that are happening right here as soon as we get to the shop. Pretty stoked on it. It's gonna be so sick. So, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go get some gas for the 128. Let's go get some food. Um, you know, we gotta get that no more food vlog. Yeah, I saw that I comment. Saw it it hit me hard. It hit me hard. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, take them both down to the shop. So, uh, let's get to it. Also, guys, bear with me. I'm using a G7X Mark II right now. It's broken, so it might be a little bit blurry here and here and here. But I did order a G7X Mark III to get ready for some 4K. All right, guys. Um, so, Jonathan, so we're just gonna go and check how much fuel is in this thingy, McVeigh. Bobber. I don't know, you think it's two miles, four miles? Oh, has not been started in a very long time. We don't need gas. What? We don't need gas. What? Are you serious? Oh, I remember filling it up like a week ago, but I never drove. Dude, that's the best feeling. Oh my God. For those of you guys who are um, pretty much at the gas station all the time, that is the best feeling. Hell yes, your boy doesn't have to drop 50 bucks today on gas. Let's just head, we're gonna first eat or what? Because we don't have to go to the gas station more. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna head straight to the shop. Oh my God, check that out. Guys, that 1M bumper is fire, dude. All right, guys, um, we just finished a beating, so let's head out. Backing it up into the shop. So we're just getting the quarter panel work done, and then we should be good to go. The rear bumper, front bumper, we we'll just end up wrapping it, no big deal, but it's just that quarter, though. Check that out. That is buttery smooth, unlike my work. Shout out to you, my guy. Thank you, bro. All right, guys, so me and the owner of the shop, we're gonna be collabing hopefully soon. Again, sorry for the little blur down here. I have a new Mark III camera coming in soon, so don't worry about that. Meantime, they're actually, they already finished the body work. They're like, uh, do you wanna drop it off and then uh, you know take it with you, or we can just do it right now? I was like, all right, well, if you can, that'd be insane. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then we're gonna head down to the shop. Uh, but yeah, they're almost done prepping it. That's the last thing they gotta do, and then we are good to go. Bam, just like that, the repair was done in like 30 minutes. <laughs> it looks so much better. So they're just gonna go ahead and sand it to blend it. He said it'd be better just to paint it. I, I get that, we will be painting the whole car when I get the front rear bumper as well, but I wanna wrap it temporarily, enjoy it for a little bit, and then go ahead and paint everything in the end. I don't wanna paint and then wrap and then peel off the wrap, and then it messes up the paint because that happens sometimes. So I wanna wrap it, enjoy it for a little bit, then go back to OEM paint and paint the rest of the car so it's sealed properly. So guys, this is Devon's car. It's been at this shop, like it would come, it would come and go. So recently he got this whole paint job done and then he got rear-ended, so uh, things happen in life, but it's looking super good again. <laughs> 
This thing's been seeing multiple lives. It's like a cat. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, Devon also opted for the carbon fiber, like kind of like a CSL ducktail trunk, which is super sick. Not as sick, but it's like 800 bucks, I think. Yeah, no, it's pricey. I love this car. This is probably one of the. This is probably one of my favorite 335s I've ever, like I've seen, just mainly because of the color. Guys, and it's already done. Ooh, dang, it is smooth as butter. Just like that, guys. That was, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hammered it out a little bit. <laughs> but um, you know your boy always messing up. Shout out to you, my guys, always getting the work done. Um, I'm also gonna be stopping by in a week or two uh, to show you guys a little bit of his shop. He's gonna be doing a few more things to his shop, so I'll show you guys that, that down the road. You guys saw Devon's car. Without further ado, let's head down to the shop. All right, guys, I felt something is wrong. This whole car is shaking really bad right now. Ah, that's the things about owning BMWs is always a problem, so it feels like a misfire. Wow, that is a really bad misfire. I'm hoping a check engine light comes up any minute now so I can run the code. Hopefully, it'll tell me exactly which cylinder is misfiring because that's weird. That's really weird. Not yet. All right, guys, so it smells like cats. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the car lead adapter, see what's going on. Oh, man, it's, it's already too soon, I mean, it's already too soon to have problems. Are we trying to get this thing down to the wrap shop on Monday? Yeah, we're taking this to a wrap shop. We're not gonna be doing it ourselves because we want this to be professionally done. But what sucks is I'm hoping it'll get there now. So let's go ahead and plug in the car adapter and see what's going on. Hopefully it's like a spark plug or something because it felt like a rough idle, but also it smells really bad. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Okay, um, let's go ahead and turn off the car, guys. All right, guys, car adapter and let's go ahead and run the codes. All right guys, so it looks like mostly it has to do with cylinder five. So it looks like it could be spark plugs. It could be spark plugs or ignition coil. I'm gonna go ahead and check the Carfax, see if any of those have been replaced recently. FYI, this is not a sponsored video, but my Carfax app is free and it's pretty dang good. So uh, shows recently it's been smogged by me. Uh, maintenance, inspection, oil change, battery. That's not none of that. Uh, brake fluid, cabin air. Spark plugs replaced at 100,000 miles. So that means it's been 50,000 miles almost on these spark plugs, which is it's a good chance. Right when we fix something, guys. Another thing. Oh my God. All right, let's just go ahead. Oh dang, it just comes off that easy. That's mint. Imagine there's no ignition coils. <laughs> It's like, uh, okay, well, actually this is really easy to get to. A one, two, three, four, and then of course the five's right back so there. So you might have to take this off. Ah, oh, it has, it just, it's not too bad, it's just easy. Yeah, let's, let's get to it, guys. Never up, never down, never. What is that sound? It started doing that as soon as you pull out the, the spark plug. Bro, it sounds like injectors, maybe. You think it's leaking in? Did you hear that? It sounds like your injectors stuck open. It's yeah. It's leaking in there. It's weird. Why is it pulsing? It's, it's weird. It's like shooting fuel still, and the car's off. Yeah, guys, so we this definitely. This is number five. This number is number five, one. Number five, number one. So number five is, is shot. Bad. Yeah, no, it number... could be spark plugs, but it's also weird. I've yeah, never heard I've that. I've never heard that before. I see the, I, like that noise wasn't there until I pulled out the spark so, Yeah, spark, spark plug. plug. Dude, I, when I was behind you, like, bro, the car smelled so bad. Like, oh yeah, dude, I legit saw smoke. I was like, what's going on, dude? dude. I literally thought my turbos went out. And you guys, know, people always tell me I drive an eco. I was driving an eco. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the turbos weren't even being used at the time. Oh. What's kind of weird is that only spark plug five, which is when I got a misfire in, is messed up. The rest of them are like perfectly good. Like how come only one went bad? I really don't know why, but there's also like this weird pulsing sound coming out of a like, I don't know, it's like a few, I can smell fuel and I hear the weird pulsing sound coming out of spark plug five. So uh, I don't think I hear anymore. Oh no, I still hear it. I gotta do some more research on that. I don't know what's going on there. I can't just ignore it. All right, guys, so uh, everything from uh, cylinder five is in one, everything from one, five. I already went over the gist. Let's go ahead, crank it over. Jonathan, if you see something explode, turn this shit off, all right? <laughs> all right, watch it now. I need to turn it you off. You need to turn you, it you off. You need to keep recording. 
You ready? Yeah. Downstairs. He's acting so weird, guys. Oh my lord. Oh, dude, yeah. What? It's like excess fuel. Almost. You got a check engine? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I smell fuel again. Yeah. Shit. That's what it's. Huh? Did you clear? We're about, we're about to check it right now. All right. Dude, it reeks of fuel. Yeah, it's oh really bad. All right, we got the uh, code reader already in there. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and connect it to the car. Drivetrain condition. Drive moderately, maximum drivetrain output not available. Hmm. Okay, so it's 11 codes. It, it I mean, focus. it's saying, okay, so misfire cylinder five exhaust harmful. Misfire cylinder five uh, injection is turned off. Uh, misfire cylinder five recognized. So we're just gonna go ahead and clear the codes, start up again and see what, what cylinder gets. If, if it's five again, pass the fuel injector. If it's one, it's either spark plug or ignition coil. Let's go ahead and test that. All right. Yo, I hmm. got an engine oil light. Maybe the fuel got mixed up with the oil? We're gonna go ahead and run the codes again now. We already cleared it. So this should be completely new codes because uh, I just got the check engine light. So. so after checking up the forms and stuff, it looks like my fuel injectors are shot. That's most likely what it is because I moved because now I'm having it in the two rear ones, which are cylinder five and six. Just for safety, I'm gonna go ahead and move those ignition coils down to and see if that makes a change or difference or anything. If there's no difference, it's definitely the fuel injectors. Now, while I did switch this one, I'm actually gonna move everything over so I can move the car to the side of the garage. So at least at the same time, while I'm actually checking to see if the car runs, I'm also gonna move it to the corner so I don't have to start up any more times. I don't know if this is healthy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it to the corner of the garage and just check it one more time. And if it's still five and six, then I'm just gonna go ahead and place an order on some fuel injectors. It is quite a hefty penny, but pay to play. Alright guys, codes are cleared. Let's go on and start up the car and just move it over there real quick and then I'll tell you guys what happens next. Hey guys, welcome. This is actually day two, so we're back at the shop. Got a little bit of sunlight outside and uh, we did a little bit of research last night and we're still starting to think. So I went ahead, opened up the gas cap, I mean the engine cap and I can smell a little bit of gas, which actually a lot of gas. I'm not trying to feather the situation. It's actually pretty bad. So uh, we're thinking we're going to go ahead and move fuel injector from number five to one um and just test that out hopefully um if i get a misfire and cylinder one it has to be the fuel injector but i'm only gonna let the car run for a little bit longer once i actually move all that stuff if i get a code for cylinder one i'm just gonna get all new fuel injectors there's no point to deal with this it is at 150,000 miles i guess it's one of those things you gotta expect i bought this car to figure out things and i guess that's what i get Guys, I do this for you guys, all right? I'm the one that goes through these problems so I can tell you guys what the problems are. All right guys, so I went ahead and found out from talking to Brian that the injectors are gonna have to be uh, pretty much programmed and I also need a special tool to pull out those fuel injectors. So I'm gonna have to purchase a new fuel injector tool and I'm gonna have to go ahead and figure out somebody who can code it. He gave me a guy, I'll go ahead and reach out to them, see how much it costs. But yeah, it looks like fuel injectors are a little bit more serious than I thought. And uh, also, a way that I knew it was my fuel injectors, when I pulled out the spark plug, I saw a whole bunch of like, like Basically, like a little bit of smoke came out of a spark plug, which is on the injector that was bad, which was cylinder five. So that's whatever. But anyways, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get new fuel injectors. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some used ones that are already like uh, from like one to six, already numbered and everything, so I don't have to get any of that stuff programmed. And then have these as like spare fuel injectors. Um, so I'll probably do something like that. But I still need to get the fuel injector removal tool. So I'm going to reach out to Brian and see if I can just get one that's already pre-numbered, if that's good enough, and if that works, because that would be perfect. That pretty much concludes the video. While we're still getting, uh, while we're ordering the parts, I think I'm going to order new spark plugs, new um, injectors, um, fuel injectors, or maybe even use fuel injectors, so I won't have to code them. I'll get the exact one through six in order with the fuel roll and everything. Probably end up being a whole lot cheaper, and most of them are under 40,000 miles. Mine's is just the highest mileage one in the country. And then probably even order uh, coil packs, because why not? Might as well just do all the maintenance at once, have the peace of mind, because we're gonna be pushing some serious power, so might as well have the peace of mind, everything is good to go. Anyways, without further ado, guys, if you guys want me to show you guys how to do all that stuff, make sure to let me know down below. Otherwise, I'm just gonna assume that you guys know, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just piece it together. So let me know down below. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. If you guys wanna support the channel in any way, check out that hashtag SaveBMW link down below. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, Yalla, Habibi I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know 